हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आशीष टी पाटिल फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग के कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द कंसेप्ट ऑफ टोटल क्वालिटी मैनेजमेंट एंड इन दैट लास्ट टाइम वी हैव सीन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन मेड बाय डिफरेंट क्वालिटी गुरुज टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन मेड बाय वन अनादर इंपॉर्टेंट क्वालिटी गुरु दैट इज जोसेफ मोजेस जुरान हू इज principally remembered as quality guru for quality and quality management from 20th century majority of the companies across the world have used the philosophy of joseph juran you can say this philosophy as juran's trilogy also this juran's trilogy is composed of three managerial processes named as quality planning quality control and quality improvement what this trilogy tries to show is that how an organization can improve every aspect by better understanding the concepts of quality planning quality control and quality improvement so that the organization should have better business results the first concept in juran's trilogy is quality planning now here the basic challenge is the challenge for quality planning to identify the most important needs from all the needs expressed by the customer any organization is built for its customer so its prime responsibility of any organization to find out the basic needs of customers so therefore the first step in quality planning is identifying who are the customers for example if we consider the mobile segment in indian context then who are all the customers the customers may be students customers may be working professionals customers may be elderly people the next step here in quality planning is determining the needs of these customers so what are all basic needs a customer will have if we consider the mobile example again the needs may be the large screen size then the ram capacity then the camera resolutions all these aspects you may consider the multimedia aspects also all such needs you have to determine and all these needs should be translated into the language which will be understood by the design people of the organization so based on this language you should develop a product which can respond to all these needs expressed by different class of customers and based on that you have to optimize the product features which can satisfy or even delight the customers so that you can meet your needs as well as customer needs your needs will be obviously development of a better product and better profitability next aspect is quality control now here the basic purpose of quality control is to develop a process which is able to produce the product and to optimize the process let us take the example that we are going to turn a shaft with end shaft diameters as 20 h7 now this may be used for say a pump or say motor based on your presumptions now if we want to turn a diameter with tolerance as 20 h7 and if we consider lathe then machining on lathe will be possible but for that purpose you have to provide some extra or some special aids these aid will help in producing that 20 h7 component again and again so therefore the basic aspect here in quality control is to develop such process which should be able to produce the product if it is not possible say uh, if you are considering the example of say mass production 
then a center lathe may not be suitable for producing these shafts continuously with appropriate quality of getting that diameter end diameter as 20th 7th. Then for that reason you should go with say a turning center or say CNC lathe. But again to maintain that 20th 7th diameter that you are going to measure. So here the first step in quality control is said as determining what you need to measure. We want to measure the diameter produced by that machine and that performance should be a consistent one. So therefore you should set a goal for your performance that whatever quantity of shafts I am going to turn on this CNC or say turning center, it should give me the consistent results of that 20 at 7 dimension. So that feedback you will get by actually measuring the diameter by various aid which you are going to provide with that machine and based on that you will identify the gap between your actual performance and the set goal. If there is a gap between the actual performance and set goal for example if the shift is producing say 800 shafts per day and if your system is able to produce only 700 components and rest of the 100 components have gone through some defects then you have to compare this performance and you have to provide suitable aids so that that quality should be controlled. So for that reason you should utilize various statistical process control tools also for example Pareto analysis then flow diagram, fishbone diagrams, control charts and so on. Next aspect in Joran's triology is quality improvement. So there are four different strategies which are utilized in this quality improvement st stage. The first one is repair. Now this is a reactive phase as such where you, your approach is fix what's broken. So if the problem arises then correct it. So that is a reactive approach. Next approach is refinement. That is, it's a proactive approach. That means you have to continually improve a process. So instead of waiting for any breakdown, before happening that breakdown, you continuously go on improving the process so that that breakdown should not appear. Next approach is or next strategy you can say is renovation. So here improvement is made through innovation or you can utilize various technological advancements also. And the fourth strategy is reinvention that is the most demanding approach that means starting the entire thing over with a clean slate. So these are the various four different strategies which are used in quality improvement aspects. So what are the various steps to improve the quality? The first step is identifying specific projects for improvement then organize to guide these projects which you have selected for improvement organize for diagnosis which kind of tools you are going to have for discovery of various causes then diagnose to find the causes here you can use the tools like fishbone diagram to find out the root causes then provide the remedies and finally prove that the remedies are effective under all the operating conditions. So these are the various steps which you need to take to improve your overall quality. So this can be seen with this particular Juran triology diagram. This diagram depicts the Juran's triology and it is a plot of time versus percent defectiveness. So, what it tries to describe is the way in which Juran's triology is designed to reduce the cost of quality over the time. So, with this diagram, what you can see that initial period is the quality planning period where your product is desi designed considering the needs of customers. So, once your product is designed, the next phase is the 
actual production now in this actual production you can see here that initially there may be defects up to 20 percent so juran says this zone as cost of poor quality chronic waste so this zone may be generated because of lack of planning for quality control there may be some sporadic spikes also sporadic spikes means the defects may get raised up to 40 percent and this may be because of lack of control or lack of quality control now because of this the company may think for some improvement so you can see in between the dark space which you can see the improvement phase and after that improvement phase you can see the quality is improved and the defects are reduced up to 5 percent and this zone is called as new zone of quality control so this is a juran's triology diagram and by utilizing this diagram any organization can develop its strategy for quality planning and quality control as well as quality improvement so let us pause this video and try to answer this question i guess you have gone through the question and tried to answer this question so with this we will come to end of this topic that is total quality management thank you